Yes, we are. Yes, we are. You know, after tonight, we are halfway through the high school football regular season. What? Week five already. Already. And we're starting to see who the dominant teams are going to be this season. Lone Peak has to be one of them. The Knights, a perfect 4-0 <laughs> going into tonight's showdown against 5A Power Orem. Lone Peak's Jackson Willits gets the handoff, breaks a tackle, tries to get to the outside, finally brought down by a pack of Tigers after a 30-yard pickup. A few plays later, Luke Durfee gets the direct snap, gets into the end zone. It's 14-7 Lone Peak. Less than a minute left in the half. Jonah Hayamuli hits Will Christensen in stride, almost breaks the tackle. But the defender grabs his foot, brings him down inside oh. the 30. A couple plays later, Luke Romney in at quarterback, fires it over to Weston Covey for the touchdown. Final score 24-7. Romney throws two TDs as the Knights go to 5-0. Corner Canyon on an incredible 30-game winning streak, hosting Crosstown rival Alta High tonight. The Chargers wasted no time getting on the board. Jackson Dart to Jet Main, an eight-yard scoring strike, 7-0. But Alta came right back. The play action pass here from Ethan Jackson to Tavito Mafaleo. He works his way down inside the 15 yard line and just one play later, Samuel Black goes right up the gut. 13 yards on the touchdown, 7-6. Close no, game, huh? It stayed close for about, I don't know, two minutes. Ah. Jackson Dart on the keeper from a yard out and the route was on. Corner Canyon wins its 31st straight game with a 50 point block, 56-6. Jackson Dart, three rushing touchdowns, threw for a couple more. Undefeated American Fork trying to get to 5-0, taking on Harriman tonight. Maddox Matson, how good is he? Drops back. He's good. Hits. Fisher Ingersoll breaks the tackle, finally goes down inside the 30. Matson threw nine touchdowns last <laughs> week, almost that many this week. Touchdown pass to Garrison Grimes at 7-0 Caveman. Harriman trying to come back, but quarterback Cody Lazenby picked off by Sam Hafen. Nice return for American Fork, and that interception led, leads to this. Madsen scrambles, finds Grimes all alone in the end zone. 14 0, another incredible game for Madsen. The final 56 to 6. Wow. Seven touchdowns for Maddox Madsen, three to Fisher Ingersoll. He's good. Davis High appears to be the team to beat in Region 1. The undefeated Darts taking on Layton tonight. And this was all Davis. Quarterback Chance Trujillo. Where is Fakes it? everyone out. There he is. Finds a wide open David Spute. 45 yard strike. Davis on top. Trujillo and Spute have become a deadly combination for Davis this year. Spute takes the screen pass. He's going to go 27 yards on the play. And that sets up Spencer Ferguson. Takes Anna, going to cut it back. Goes right through the Leighton defense on his way to a 35 yard touchdown run. And the route is on. The final score 40 to 7. Ferguson with two touchdown runs. Spute with a couple of TD catches for the 5 0 darts. Yet another undefeated team, Sky Ridge, at home against Jordan. And this was all Falcons. Check out quarterback McKay Hillstead. On the keeper, look at the move he puts on the defender. See ya, right by ya, wouldn't want to be ya. Jukes him out of his shoes. Hillstead, 60 yards for the touchdown. Skyridge was just getting started. Hillstead goes to the air, finds a wide open. James Palmer, 32 yard touchdown. It's 14 nothing Falcons. Still in the first quarter, Skyridge goes to the ground. Jeter Fenton finds a big hole, busts it through and goes 33 yards before he's finally brought down. And then a couple plays later, it's Hillstead to Palmer again. This Sky Ridge team is really, really good. The final 68 Ooh. to seven. Hillstead, five touchdown passes, two more touchdown runs. Juan Diego at home tonight, taking on Copper Hills. Grizzlies on a three and one start, but the home team dominating early quarterback Tyler Easter dumps it off to Caden Vissian. He picks up a nice little gain here. Then the Soaring Eagle finished the drive. Jeremy Ortega goes over from the one, and then he politely gives the ball to the referee, thank you very much. Well, that's good nothing. Juan Diego at the half. This mom raised him right. Copper Hills comes back. The pass from Brady Wardle to Luke Barbie down the far sideline. And they cap the drive with this touchdown run by Rylan Reed from a yard out. But too little, too late. Juan Diego holds on to win it 31 to 13. Quarterback Tyler Wardle with a touchdown pass and a touchdown run for the Soaring Eagle.